Hey everyone, welcome to Princess Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with my uh, final reaction to Total Drama Island 2023, for now at least. Uh, we are on episode 13? 13, yeah. The final episode of the season, and I am excited. Uh, I, I decided this was a good thing to come back to after TrotCon. Uh, a, a good reaction to just get back into the swing of things with. And, yeah, I'm hoping to love how this ends. We have three contestants left. We have uh, Bowie kind of pulling the strings of everything. Will that work out for him in the end? We will see. Um, I guess there are always two. Um, like there's, there's always an alternate winner in the end. Um, like there's an alternate scene filmed. I assume the one I got is probably the regular winner, like the, the actual winner rather than the alternate. Um, but I guess I don't technically know. <laughs> um, maybe I have the alternate for some reason, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens, how this goes. And who, like... Obviously, we're going to have two eliminations through this. We're going to have someone eliminated partway through, and then we're going to have the second elimination. Well, not really elimination at the end, but we're going to have the final two go to the end, and one of them wins, one doesn't. I'm curious to see who's the one who's going to get eliminated. Is it going to be Millie? Because of her lying and everything? Um, or not really lying, but lie by omission, I guess. Um, that, that would probably be my guess, but I guess we'll see. Um... But yeah, I'm excited to get to this, and in the afterthoughts, I will obviously announce what will replace this. Um, and I'm excited to make that announcement, so that will come in the afterthoughts. Uh, but for now, let's just get into this. Uh, I'm just excited to react again. It's It's been a bit. <laughs> um, been almost a week since I last recorded a reaction. So yeah, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then fades back in. Everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts, and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you at the reaction. And if you're wondering, by the way, what is up with this, and what's up with these down here, some, yeah, down here. Uh, just go watch the TrotCon vlog. I go over all my merch from TrotCon there. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'll see you at the reaction. See you there. <laughs> and we are back and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So the good guy has won. Priya has won. She has mended her relationship with Millie. Everything has worked out. Or rather, Millie has mended her relationship with Priya, but still. Um, so Bowie is the alternate, clearly. Um, I, I, I was rooting for Bowie, but I'm good with Priya winning. Like I said last time, I, I, would be, I would have been good if Millie had stayed in and won. I would have been good no matter what the result between these three would have been, because I like all three of them. Uh, Bowie is just a fantastic character. He's super likable, but also an absolute bitch, and I love it. I, I just love how, how villainous he became by the end. <laughs> Um, while still remaining likable as a character. I, I, I just think that's great. And, and Millie and Priyo were just, like, favorites from very early on. Um, I do have a little bit of a hang-up with Priyo winning, though, because I, I believe I said it last time. The fact that this was kind of forced on her by her parents and, like, her dream would be to go to medical school and everything, it's like, I, I feel bad for her winning you know I, I wonder if that'll be addressed next season since now we're going to be going into that i also wonder how different things are going to go with the different contestants now um i'm just hoping lauren goes further and i'm interested to see what happens with uh the one dude who was eliminated first in this season either way i'm hoping we get the next set of episodes sooner rather than later but we'll see um, the challenges for this final round were pretty interesting, and the fact that Shep was getting really into it and adding stuff in was 
wild. <coughs> um, but yeah, in the end, it was a really close call and just a really enjoyable finale. I, I just, I really enjoy reacting to this series. Um, I, I wish I could have reacted to it from the beginning, but the fact that we were able to react to more of it now is still fantastic. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much of anything else to say at this point. I'm just hoping we get more of, uh, more of our favorite contestants in the next season. Um, especially Lauren. Uh, so I guess we'll just go straight into, um, what's going to replace it. I know I talked for like less than three minutes on this, but there's not really a lot to discuss. It's like, there was the challenges, what we got from them, like Priya won. What else do you talk about? I guess I could go through real quick my thoughts on this season. Um, aside from the one episode with all the like farting and everything, I, um, even though that even had some good parts in it, this was a really good season. I don't know where I would rank it amongst all of the seasons because, like I've said before, outside of Redonkulous Race, I haven't seen the other seasons in a long time. Um, pretty much since they were airing. So, I don't remember a lot. There, there's a lot I don't remember, and I don't think it would be fair to judge them uh, entirely on that. I would have to remind myself of everything before I could rank them completely. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of reactors that do this show. So, that kind of sucks. Um, but I would like to... I would like to say that this is up there for me. That I, I really enjoy that. And part of that is just because I got to react to it and everything. And that gives it a whole new feeling. But I, I can't be absolutely sure where I would rank this. Because, like, like I said, it's just, it's been too long. Um, but I would like to say it would be up there. Um, so, what is going to replace this? As you know, we currently have, uh, basically two ways of sorting out our reactions. Um, because we have, like, obviously the different types of reactions we do. Whether it be a long-running series like One Piece, something that is just a Connie's Choice series, something I want to react to uh, on my own choice. Uh, or we have donation rewards and first impressions and all of that. We also have a poll series. So the question is, like, what, what replaces this now? What do we go into to replace this series? Um, let me check on something real quick, though. me a second here um that's right okay i have to make it i have to update something here real quick just because i i realized i forgot to upgrade it on my li on my uh list of uh shows that i'm reacting to so i just have to make that quick little uh adjustment And that is okay. So, as you know, we currently have um, one other Connie's Choice series going, which is Last Man Season Two. Um, we have two First Impressions uh, continuations, which are Ghost of Mount McGee Season Two and Moon Girl and Double Dinosaur. And we have one other donation reward at the moment, Fire Force Season 2, plus One Piece, which is our long-running series. Um, and we have our poll series, which is Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, which I also need to update right now. I'm scared. So that leaves the question, what do we do? Uh, we're obviously not going to make this another first impression slot because we have too many of those as it is at the moment. Um, we don't need a third one. Um, so do we make this a donation reward slot? Or do we do another Connie's choice? That's the big question. Um, basically, the answer, I feel, has to come down to 
just what do I want to do the most next? What do I want to actually replace this series with? Um, give me a second here. Sorry about this. Um, but yeah, it comes down to what I want to replace the series with, what I want to uh, get to the most next. And I think I have my answer. So we are going to make this slot a donation reward slot for the moment, uh, which actually puts our middle section in the sorting on the channel banner uh, now to e even more. Um, well, maybe. It depends on if I'm going to consider this a priority show or not. Which I might. Yeah, I might I might just continue to consider this a priority show, even though it's also a dono reward. Um so yeah, we're we're giving another donation reward slot here, but it's also kind of a priority show, I feel. Um it's been a while. In fact, let me see how long it's been since we've gotten to this. Um, just so I can give you a, a good feel for what we're getting into here. Because I, for one, am very excited to get into more of this series and very excited to see what, going forward with this, we have in store. So, let me just check the last date I reacted to this. Uh, just have to wait for YouTube to stop being a bitch. <laughs> Okay, it's been five months. It's been almost half a year. Um, we finished reacting to season one in February, the beginning of February. And now we get to go back. And I'm excited to go back. So we are going back to Symphogear. Symphogear G, aka season two, will begin pretty much right away. It's being added right to the list. Uh, whenever I choose to get to the first episode, we will get to it. I'm very excited. Season one surprised the shit out of me. Like, I did not expect to love it as much as I did. But between Subasa, Hibiki, Chris especially. Uh, Chris, you can it? You can it? You can? It might be you can. Um, either way, she is just like, best girl for sure <laughs> um but it's like this series just really shocked me with how good it is um and, and on top of that it's also a series that is so fucking jam-packed with trauma babies that it's just like it's one of those shows where you just want to like jump into the screen and give everybody a hug and let them know it'll be okay. Um, and, and make sure that it will be okay. Um, it, it's it's like it, it it's it's not even like a super heavy series for me in terms of like shipping and whatnot. Like there is definitely shipping with it. Um, I, I, there's a lot of gay in this series. Let's be honest. <coughs> um, but really like I, I'm more focused on these girls like you know not having to deal with all this fucking trauma and you know I just want them to live their best lives and be happy <laughs> but we know that's not gonna happen uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens next uh, who the next big bad is going to be and where this is going to go in terms of fighting the noise I'm very excited to get back to this, though. Um, so, we will be doing that, uh, like I said, right away. It's just going to take the slot. Whenever we get to the first episode is when we get to it. Maybe this week, maybe next week. We'll see. In the meantime, though, uh, tell me your thoughts on this final episode of Total Drama Island 2023. And thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.